Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome back to a fresh new video on the channel. In this video, we will be taking a look at the Animation Composer which is a free animation extension for After Effects by Mr. Hoss. Not only this, they also have some amazing free tools like the Transition Shifter, Anchor Point Mover and my favorite, the Keyframe Wingman. They also have a collection of more than 1000 plus text and motion preset which you can purchase from their product page. You can download the animation composer and all its free tools using the link in the description below. So let's hop into After Effects and take a look at the animation composer without wasting any time. Alright guys, here we are in After Effects and now after you download and install the Animation Composer extension, you can find it under Windows and there you'll find the Animation Composer. As you can see, I have also installed the free tools that comes with the Composer, but you need to download them separately, though they are free. The Anchor Point Mover, the Keyframe Wingman and the Transition Shifter. If you want, I will create a different video on these three tools because I use them regularly this keyframe wingman i'm an absolute fan of these tools and i have covered these tools actually in my previous tutorial so i'll mention the link in the description but let's hop into the animation composer and this is how it looks like first we have the transition presets effects preset precoms and sounds now let's create a new composition really quick call this test okay doesn't really matter what it is just to demonstrate the animation, I'm going to just type in a text. Maybe let's call this animation and align it into the center. So let's say this is my text and I want to add a nice animation. You can go into the transition presets. You get 2D layer transformation as well as 3D layer transformation. So though it is a text, you can use this 2D layer transformations on the text as well. So let's see. The preview so to preview this you can click on this icon which says open folder in preview grid panel so i'll just click on that and now you can see we have different number of animation now you may not have all this animation because i have access to the 1000 plus motion presets which are absolutely amazing so you can see right over here we get so many different animations and it's going to save you a hell lot of time you don't need to create this kind of animations you can just directly use them and i'm going to show you how so let's select a nice animation. Maybe I'll select this one. This looks pretty cool to me. So I'll select the layer, select this. And then when I click on this, it's going to ask me whether I want the animation from the left side, right side, top or bottom. So in this case, I want this from the top. Then we can assign it whether we want an in animation or an out animation or we want both. So in this case, we want only the in animation. So I'm going to click on apply. All right. And now we have a nice animation applied. Now, in case if you want to change the duration of the animation, you can just move this marker. So let's say if I want to increase the duration, I can just move this to two seconds. And now we have a bit slow animation, but you can see the animation looks super cool. You can also turn on the motion blur to make it look much more nicer. And it's that easy to use. And whether you want to see now, if you're working with too many layers and you use too many, uh, you know, animations, to see what la which layer consists which animation you can check out right over here so if you select the layer it's going to highlight it right over here whichever animation that you have applied if you want to remove the animation you can remove it from there as well so it's very simple and easy to use now let's say if i want to add one more animation i can simply go again into the presets and let's say i want to combine it with a different animation so let's go a bit down and let's say we'll use maybe we'll use a nice rotation one so I'll use this one so I can just select this and I want this animation as my out animation so this time I'm going to select the bottom one select the out and click on apply and now you can see we have a nice out animation so if I just preview this, we have the in animation and then we have the out animation. Now, depending on the length of the timeline, it's going to add the out animation. So let's say if I just remove this. So right over here, we can see we have our, have our out transition preset and maybe I'll remove the out one. 
so we only have the out animation and let's say if i just crop this layer to by holding alt and close square bracket and now if i add a nice out animation so let's go ahead and add a nice rotating out animation maybe yep this one maybe let's go with this one actually bottom out and hit apply and now you can see it's applied on this layer just like so looks super cool not only that if i jump into the effects and control panel you can see we get different control to control the bounces the angles and different other stuff so you can completely change the way the animation look i can you know simply maybe increase the bounciness so we get something like pretty weird stuff but you know you get the idea what i'm going for right over here so you can play around with this create your own cool animation and as you can see it saves you a hell a lot of time and that is what time is very important you know now i can just select this let's actually remove everything and let's go back to frame zero now let's jump into the presets the effects presets actually so i'll go into 2d transformation I, again i can click on this icon to see all the animation preset now the really cool thing about this preset is let's see i want this animation all right so i'm going to select this and click on apply now we have the animation right but i what i want is i want my animations to start from right over here till 30 30 frame and then end at two seconds so what i can do is i can jump to 30 frame add and start in marker just like so so i can just move it right over here so now it's going to start from right over here but i want it to start from 30 frames i'll just place it right over here so now from 30 frame it's going to start animating and at two seconds i want it to end so i'll add an out marker just like so so now we have our animation ending right over here so it begins and then it stops again you get all the controls in the effects and control panel so you can you know play around with this and create a different animation and this is how the effects and presets work now there are different kind of effects and presets you can choose from thousand plus different styles of animation which i think is more than enough so yeah that is a absolute great library of effects then we have the pre-com now this is one of my favorite section because if i jump into this you can see we get some really cool stuff so firstly we have the 2d special effects which is one one of my favorite again because we get some nice electricity effects we get some nice um, energy effects so you can use them in your really cool motion graphic projects to enhance the complete look we get some fire elements really nice we get some liquid elements this is again one of my favorite section because you can create some nice typographic animation you can add this nice accent to the text to create a nice typographic design or animation then we have some nice smoke animations and finally we have some sparks and some speed elements to indicate or you know show some so show some speed so i'll just close that up actually let's go back into pre-comps then we have the animated illustrations the backgrounds the filmmakers transition which are again super cool looking transition if you make vlogs or cinematic videos or any kind of videos you get some amazing collection of transitions then if i just close that up let's go back then we have some texture animation shape transition lower thirds and titles you can purchase all these elements from their website i'll mention the link down in the description so you can go ahead and check all of them out some really amazing stuff all right now let's take a look at the sounds so if i go into this panel and there you'll find the essential sound effects this is a free sample pack but if you want you can purchase this complete pack of amazing sound effects so in the free samples we get some really cool collection of really amazing sound and you can preview them right here so all you need to do is just click on the sound effect and it's gonna play just like so now the best part is that you can also change the pitch of the sound so by that what i mean is if i just select this again play this up and play around with the pitch you 
can see using one single sound effects you can create a different uh, you know kind of sound effects by changing the pitch of that particular sound so there is a collection of really cool sound effects that you can use so maybe something like a pop you can also change the pitch of the pop so really really cool you can also go ahead in the manage audio folders and you can add your own sound effects folder as well or you can download the essential sound effects pack so that is the complete animation composer for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the review of the animation composer i feel that it is an absolutely great extension for after effects some amazing free stuff as well as some amazing purchases like the motion elements the text like the motion presets the text presets and different other products that you can check it out as you can see in the pre-coms we have overlays filmmaker transitions shape transitions textures title and lower third and many other different things so make sure to check it out the link will be in the description below and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative and also make sure to follow me on instagram at dope.motions peace out